Hi, my name is Gijs, and together with my dad, I'm rebuilding the almost 80 year old sailing ship Tigerai. Currently, we're ticking off items from our to-do list before we can reinstall the main mast on the ship. Today, we'll get into installing some deck drains and reinstalling the cooling water expansion tank. But first, we will install some ventilation channels for the engine room, galley and the toilet. The new wheelhouse has built-in ventilation channels embedded in these columns. All we need to do is connect them to the designated area on the ship. We used an old steel frame with roughly the right dimensions and modified it to have the same shape as the built-in channels from the wheelhouse. There is a little bit of curvature in the bulkhead where the starboard shaft will be welded against. To solve this, we welded a T-bar and some frames and wedged the bulkhead straight flat to the T-bar. After that, the newly fabricated ventilation channel could be installed. To prevent a rusty trace of dirt on the side of the ship and on the wheel, we have to install some deck drains on the lowest point where the water collects and runs over the side. We have to do this now because the pipes run through the wheelhouse and when the interior is installed it will be a big hassle to take it all out and install the pipes. <laughs>
We found a nice new spot for the cooling water expansion tank so we can install it back and get rid of our temporary solution because it was quite quick and dirty and not so reliable. The header tank is located in the wheelhouse to give the system a small amount of pre-pressure, even when all engines are off. With the tank in this location, it was easy to connect to the highest point in the system. This does mean replacing the half inch deaeration pipe for a one inch pipe that's connected to the tank. With everything installed, it's time to fill it up and give the system a test. As we're approaching the end of all the steelwork inside the wheelhouse, we can already start painting some parts of the wheelhouse with their final coating.
and then we can continue preparing the main mast for installation. But that's for later and this is all for now. Thank you for watching, if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.